Okay, so this is a passive system, so we have the antenna, we're going with the VHF and the UHF and the connection box. We have the backbone of the antenna, which you can see here. We have the screen or shield, which again you can see here. And you have two cables. This time, because there's no amplifier, you have just the passive plate. Again, your short lead that goes to your TV, your antenna cable already terminated and ready to go onto your antenna, so there's no fitting to do. Just pick that antenna cable up, you know, where the nipply bit is. That's it. Just hold that and then point to that with your stick. Yeah, it's already fitted off for you with quality connectors and a boot. Beautiful. So when it's being used, it's protected from weather. And again, in the bag here, you have the vertical horizontal mount, which you can see here. Excellent. And there's your vertical antenna, your horizontal antenna. Beautiful. So what you have here is a three section mark, one, two, three, 38 millimetre, 32 and 25. It's designed to go with our antennas, we have thumb screws and T-nuts, all made in Australia by the way, and a mask cap. Now this collapses to 1.8 metres and will extend to 4.3 metres and is very, very light, it's anodised aluminium. So what we have is a set of feet, two, right, we have two keyhole brackets to fit on the van, we have a short 32mm section of aluminium and we have a one and a half metre section, plus we have another extension of approximately one and a half metres which sits on the top of this, giving you an overall total of around... Um, 2.8 metres of height. Right, it comes with screws, caps, bolts, everything you need to assemble it. You can put it on a trunk, as in a camper trailer. You can put it on the side of a boat. You can put it on a motorhome. It's very lightweight and it's robust. These are actually all UV stable nylon tooled in Australia brackets. Using this section allows you to actually stand on the ground and adjust the direction of the antenna. You don't have to climb up to the mark.